In the heart of South Asia, there lies a region steeped in history and culture, known as the Indus Valley. This cradle of civilization, dating back to 2500 BCE, was home to the advanced and mysterious Indus Valley civilization. Here, city planning and urban development were not mere concepts, but a lived reality. The civilization boasted a well-ordered government structure, largely influenced by the Hindu religion. The Indus Valley civilization, often hailed as one of the world's earliest urban civilizations, had a unique governmental structure. An authoritative figure or a ruling class, possibly a priest king, governed the city-states. They maintained law and order, regulated trade and commerce, and oversaw massive public works projects. Their rule, however, was not autocratic. It leaned towards a theocracy, with the Hindu religion playing a significant role in administration and societal norms. Fast forward a few millennia to the mid-18th century. The region, now part of modern-day Pakistan, fell under British rule. The British introduced a bureaucratic form of government, a far cry from the theocratic rule of the Indus Valley civilization. The British Raj, as it was known, was characterized by a centralized authority, with power concentrated in the hands of British officials. The British Raj implemented numerous reforms, including the construction of infrastructure that linked various regions. One such example is the bridge, Rohori Barrage, between Sindh and Punjab. This bridge, Rohori Barrage, more than just a marvel of engineering, symbolized the bridging of cultural and regional gaps. The construction of this bridge, Rohori Barrage, facilitated trade, communication, and cultural exchange between Sindh and Punjab, two regions with distinct cultures and languages. Rohori Barrage played a crucial role in shaping the socioeconomic landscape of the region, fostering unity and integration among diverse communities. A popular Sindhi folk song, Ho Jamalo, beautifully captures the spirit of this integration and the story of Rohori Barrage. It celebrates the rites of passage from Sindh to Punjab, symbolizing the movement, interaction, and connection between these two provinces. This song, much like the bridge itself, serves as a reminder of the shared history and collective identity of the people. In conclusion, the Indus Valley's history is a tapestry of diverse governmental structures and significant infrastructural developments. From the theocratic rule of the Indus Valley civilization, to the bureaucratic governance under the British Raj, each era left an indelible imprint on the region. The construction of the bridge, Rohori Barrage, between Sindh and Punjab stands testament to this evolving landscape, symbolizing unity and integration amid diversity. It's a testament to the resilient spirit of the people, their adaptability, and their enduring sense of identity. Sudkagandor is the westernmost known archaeological site of the Indus Valley Civilization. It is located in Pakistan's Baluchistan province, about 480 kilometers west of Karachi on the Makran coast near Gwadar. The site is near the western bank of the Dasht River and its confluence with a smaller stream known as the Gajo Kaur. It was a smaller settlement with substantial stone walls and gateways. Sutkagandor was discovered in 1875 by Major Edward Mockler, who conducted small-scale excavation. In 1928, Oral Stein visited the area and carried out further digs. In October 1960, Sutkagandor was more extensively excavated by George F. Dales as part of his Macron survey, uncovering structures made from stone and mud bricks without straw. The site measures approximately 4.5 hectares and includes a massive fortification wall of semi-dressed stones. Along with the typical citadel and lower town, the citadel wall varies in height and thickness due to the irregular contours of the natural rock foundation. Though inland at present, the site may have been near navigable water in ancient times, on a trade route between other centers. A coastal route existed linking sites such as Lothal and Dolavira to Sukagandor on the Makran coast. Various artifacts were found at Sutkagandor, including flint blades, stone vessels, arrowheads, shell beads, pottery, and a copper bronze disc associated with the Bactria Margiana Archaeological Complex, BMAC. 
Indus Valley excavation sites have revealed a number of distinct examples of the culture's art including sculptures, seals, pottery, gold jewelry, and anatomically detailed figurines in terracotta, bronze, and steatite. Mohenjo-daro, located in Sindh, Pakistan, was the largest settlement of the ancient Indus Valley civilization. It was contemporaneous with other ancient civilizations such as Egypt, Mesopotamia, Minoan Crete, and Nordicico. Lothal, located in the Indian state of Gujarat, was one of the southernmost sites of the ancient Indus Valley civilization. Construction of the city is believed to have begun around 2200 BCE. The film will delve into the 10 year old Indus Valley, predating Egypt and Mesopotamia. It will explore the mythology and a folk tale, specifically the famous tale of Sasui, the most beautiful woman in the world, who falls in love with Prince Punhub from a warring rival family. Tragically, they both die, similar to Romeo and Juliet. The folklore of Pakistan has many stories of tragic lovers. Here is one of Sasui and Punhun. When Sasui woke up the following morning, she realized that she was cheated by her brothers-in-law. Alone, she continued her journey until her feet were blistered and her lips were parched from crying, Pun Hun! Pun Hun! The journey was full of dangerous hazards. She was thirsty when she saw a shepherd coming out of a hut. He gave her some water to drink. Seeing her incredible beauty, he tried to force himself on Sasui. Sasui escaped and prayed to God to hide her. God listened to her prayers. The land shook and split, and Sasui found herself buried in the valley of mountains. When Punhun woke in Makran, he could not stop himself from running back to Bambur. On the way, he called out, Sasui, Sasui, to which the shepherd told Punhun the whole story. Punhun also lamented the same prayer. The land shook and split again, and he was also buried in the same mountain valley as Sasui. The legendary grave still exists in this valley. Shah Abdul Latif Bittai sings this historic tale in his Sufi poetry as an example of eternal love and union with the divine.